and here I am on the banks of Loch Foyle with the mountains around and the Scottish Retreat Centre where I was ordained 20 years ago, just up there. I'll give you a look, just scanning around that white building up there is the Retreat Centre and we used to walk down often of course in the course of retreats to spend some time down by the loch. It's a beautiful loch, in fact we swam in the loch as well in the mountains surrounding you, it's very sort of nurturing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place and I'm really glad it stopped raining because I wanted to do a little bit of filming out here. Just to tell you a wee story, as you know I'm here in Scotland doing a kind of a pilgrimage because this summer I've decided to lovingly lay aside my Buddhist name Sri Mati which I was given here at the Scottish Retreat Centre nearly 20 years ago and returned to my original family names Maggie Kay and well I guess I've got memories and one of the memories of that ordination 20 years ago was on the night of the public ordination, which is the night where your name is announced to everybody and you have a kind of party, it was a cold, snowy November night. And we came out after the, all the celebrations and all the meditation, uh, me and two other friends. We stood at this very spot, that's why I've got the camera here, and took out sparklers and traced our names in the sky. Sri Mati got traced in the sky with sparklers. So I felt like I wanted to come and honour this spot and I felt like I wanted to come and honour the loch and I wanted to come and honour the mountains and say thank you for being the place where Sri Mati was given spiritual birth and now I'm going to lovingly set aside that name because it's more appropriate for me. I can feel the magic and the significance and the power of reclaiming my, my original names because although Sri Mati has been a beautiful name and meaningful to me and I've been using it you know a lot all this time I'm not a Buddhist I haven't been a Buddhist for some years I did resign my ordination some 11 years ago and continued using my name because it was so lovely and everyone knew, knew me by that and it was even my legal name by then but in recent weeks, I've decided it's time to set it aside, really firmly close the chapter to my Buddhist years, as it were, and, and regain something more universal with my original names. So that's what I'm doing, and that's why I brought you down to the loch. <laughs>